I had to really like grieve. Like, I don't think people realize the fact that you're grieving an actual organ. Like your thyroid is a very, very vital organ. Like you need your thyroid to stay alive. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So that means that we're gonna hop into today's video. So I have a little secret for you guys. I took a peek at my analytics and I noticed that a lot of people come to my channel for my thyroid video that I posted two years ago. So I can't believe it's been two years since I've had a partial thyroidectomy and I feel great. So um, I do get a lot of questions on that video and I kind of just go in and I just answer the questions via you know comments. But today I'm just gonna be giving you guys a two year update on how I'm feeling and what I do and what kind of changes I've made to my life since then. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop in. I wanna first start off with the shortest part and I feel like this is the quickest part and it doesn't need a huge explanation, but let's do a scar reveal. I would say my scar let me see looks pretty good i just turned down the light a little bit so you guys can kind of see but it looks pretty good hey guys so i just want to put in a picture from right after i had the surgery and my bandage came off just so you can kind of have a reference what it looked like before so that is how my scar is doing two years later like honestly i never even really noticed unless i'm just completely staring like oh, i see my scar or I just think like, oh my God, I had thyroid surgery. And then I'm like, eh, that kind of thing. But I I feel like my scar healed beautifully. Um, the only thing I did as far as like the healing process, someone, a lot of people ask me this on TikTok is, I use these silicone sheets and I'm pretty sure you can get them off Amazon. I wanna say I got mine from Target, but I'm 100% sure you can get them from Amazon. And I got the skin color one just because when I got my thyroid surgery, it was the middle of the summertime. And what you don't want is you don't want that scar getting sunlight because it's going to start to have a darker pigment than your actual skin. So that's one thing I would say, keep it out of the sun, get you some silicone sheets. It's gonna help that scar tissue and make sure your scar lays flat. My next thing I wanna talk about is just the emotional roller coaster that I've been on for the last two years. So that first year, I just felt like it was just kind of me adjusting and I think I was in a very like negative headspace. I had very limiting beliefs. I just, my main belief was weight loss is going to be so hard for me because I have half a thyroid and I believe that in my gut and my soul. And when I tell you, because I believed it, that's what it was. Like I had the hardest time losing weight within that first year. Hey guys, I just wanna hop in really quick just to kind of show you like how crazy I was feeling. When I tell you I was working out pretty much every day, I had a personal trainer, I was eating correctly, like nothing was working. And I wanna say it was more so in my head. I wanna say it was my limiting beliefs. But at the same time, my hormones were also out of whack because I was doing too much for my body, like weightlifting every day, just trying everything and nothing was working. Another thing I would say is, I had to really like grieve. Like I don't think people realize the fact that you're grieving an actual organ. Like your thyroid is a very, very vital organ. Like you need your thyroid to stay alive. Another thing I would say is I had to really like grieve. Like I don't think people realize the fact that you're grieving an actual organ. Like your thyroid is a very, very vital organ. Like you need your thyroid to stay alive. And if you don't have a thyroid, you have to be on medicine for the rest of your life. And that was just a concept that was really hard in my head. I'm just like, God, why me? Why did you do this to me? Why? I just could not understand it. I feel like I kind of even had like a mini beef with God. And I'm not saying that I was saying these out, things out loud, but I was pissed. I was mad. I'm just like, why the freak can't I just be normal? Why can't I have a normal metabolism? Why can't I have normal hormones? Like I was pissed. Like I just was mad. But at that point, I just had to go through the movements and just 
that was just my attitude that first year i feel like i didn't get a new attitude until this year so um at the end of last year december 19th 2022 i even have a video on this i told myself we're done with these thyroid problems like they are a problem of the past and when i tell you once i said that in my head my whole life changed like I was able to keep off 25 pounds this year. When I tell y'all I have not weighed the weight I weigh since like 2018. Like I have been stuck basically sitting at 200 pounds. Like I would go from 200 to 190 or 190 to 185, 195 to 185. Like I could not get out of that 190, 180 range. But th this year, at the beginning of the year, I dropped 25 pounds instantly. I want to say by the end of January, I was down 25 pounds. And I have been able to keep this weight off this whole year. Just with the shift of the mindset of me knowing, like, this is my body. And I'm taking control. Like, we're not believing all these negative and limiting beliefs about our body. Because I believe in God and I feel like he doesn't want me to be miserable in my body. I had to realize what this happened for. And it wasn't something that just happened to me. I feel like it was kind of like a wake up call. And I'm not sure where this will land, but I kind of just feel like at this point, a piece of this is going to be my ministry. I don't know if this is now or in the future, but I have feel like I am so passionate about taking care of your body after this whole experience and when i say taking care of your body i don't mean just oh um going to the spa or being living a stress-free life or just going to the gym you guys have to be so diligent about everything like everything we live in a country that constantly puts us in a state of stress every single day on top of everything being expensive af like I make good money and I can still feel the, the pressure of the inflation. On so on top of the money not being right, don't get on TikTok. Don't get on the news. Like you are going to be scared for your life. Like this country just puts this in a cycle of like fear. Like we're always worried about something. I feel like it's never been in my adult life a point of where like, oh, I can just be peaceful and I can coast because... It's always something coming up. So you guys have to think about how do you tune out the real world because that will put your body in a state of stress and stress is so hard on the body. You don't want to be stressed out. Just kind of going back to that like limiting beliefs. The moment that I knew that I had a problem with my thyroid, I was talking to my friend Chelsea and I'm just like, I've been watching all these stories. And she told me, she's like, stop watching everybody else's story. God is writing your own story. Like those stories don't matter. And like, I just, everything was triggering me. It was just like, oh my God, will I lose weight? Oh my God, will I be able to have babies? Like it just was a hard thing for me mentally. And I'm so glad that I'm over that now. Um, I kind of still have moments where I'm like, oh man. But it's like, I feel like it created awareness in me and i want to be able to spread this awareness amongst my friends my family and even you guys like not only does this country stress us out every fucking day but there are so many chemicals in our food today like if you notice when you're younger you when you were younger you're like oh i can eat this and i didn't have any problems like now all of a sudden nothing is the same nothing tastes the same if you look on the back of your ingredients labels a lot of our everyday food products say that it is bioengineered and it's made in a lab. Like, you guys have to start reading your labels. You have to find alternatives to these kind of things. When I pick up something and it says that on the back of it, I do not get it because what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Like, I don't understand that. So. That is something that I am very diligent about. Like I read the back of a label and I try not to eat processed foods. And if I do eat processed foods, I make sure that it is clean. I look at the label and if it has too many ingredients on it and too many things that I can cannot pronounce, I'm not getting it. Like a lot of these things are endocrine disruptors and it's just really messing your body up. And I just hate to be a Debbie Downer and a negative Nancy 
but like you really can't eat this food anymore like at this point in this time in life we honestly need to be growing our own food but i live in an apartment my auntie told me i need to just grow it on my patio but like it's it's just not right and if you are a person who is struggling hormonally you feel like you are struggling hormonally you feel like you can't lose weight you have to really like sit down and think like okay what am i consuming and on top of the food it could be your lotion it can be your soap it can be the air plugs that you have in your air freshener like everything has chemicals like but it is your job as a steward of your body to know what you're putting in your body and like i just see too many people on TikTok, even within my close circle, who are having trouble losing weight, who have thyroid problems, who have PCOS, who have freaking fertility problems. I just feel like in my 20s, like we shouldn't be going through this. Like that sounds like, that doesn't sound like the generations before us. Like it's in the environment, it's in the food, it's in your cosmetics. And I hate to be like this person who's like, I'm not trying to incite like fear, but I want you guys to just be more aware because I feel like the more aware I began began to, the more aware I became, I started to feel better in my body because I'm very diligent about the things that I put in my body. Um, I'm very diligent about the soap I use, what I wash my clothes in, dryer sheets. I don't have air fresheners in my home. The only time I might put a plug in it is if I'm having guests. Other than that, I don't do it. It's just like, it's not worth it. And it's just like the level of good that I feel like two years later, I just really try to be diligent about how I treat my body. And that goes beyond, like I said, going to the spa and having self-care days. You have to really be diligent about how you're moving, how you're being stressed out every day, and how can you not be stressed or be less stressed what you're eating, what you're putting on your skin, all that good stuff. So um, if you guys want a more like detailed video on like the kind of swaps that I make as far as like cosmetic products or like what I eat, things like that, just let me know. Um, like I said, this is a two year update and I'm feeling like much, much, much better two years later. And if you guys are in this journey, you're not alone. If you have questions, please let me know. If you know somebody who's dealing with these kind of problems, feel free to send them my information, send them my videos, send their questions. Like, I feel like it is time for us to really fall in love with learning how to take care of ourselves. We are unique. God has put us here for a reason. And I want to be able to fulfill whatever purpose God has instilled in me. And you have to be healthy and whole to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share it with a friend. Thank you. Bye.